Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is your Photo News Fix. Do you want a 52 megapixel image capturing device that has 16 cameras and is the size of a Dynatac cell phone? Would you still want it if I told you it would set you back $1,700? I didn't think so. Light Rumors has published, wait a second, we have another rumor site? What's next, Lytro Rumors? They're reporting that they now have four confirmed pictures of what the final production Light L16 camera will look like. You have to admit it does look kind of interesting with so many lenses making up the front of the device. With all those lenses, it has a focal range of 28 to 150 millimeters. Now, it doesn't look like there is any kind of grip to hold on to when taking photos, which could lead to some issues, in my opinion. There is also no viewfinder, which for most serious photographers is a deal breaker. Nearly two years in the making, it's a unique take on what a camera could be, but we've seen this before with the original Lytro, which I panned unmercifully. Light says the L16 is currently sold out. Well, that's not really hard when all you do is produce 12 for the first production run. The new camera brand is working on building more cameras to fill the current pre-orders and is set to begin taking new orders starting in late 2017. For those who don't know, Light has taken upwards of $30 million in funding to reimagine the camera that they say will give you DSLR quality. No, it won't. And it allows you to focus after the shot a la Lytro. Would you buy one of these cameras or would you rather see this tech in your smartphone? Let me know in the comments below. Sony wanted the world to know that they've passed Nikon as the number two seller of full frame interchangeable lens cameras in the US as they eye Canon for the number one slot. Wait, can that be right? Well, yes, if you're to believe a report by NPD Group's retail tracking service, which takes into account dollars spent on camera gear, wait for it, between January and February of 2017. Yes, Sony is cherry picking a one month period and calling it a major win. No one can deny Sony and their A7 lineup, which is a clear winner, especially after seeing double digit growth of 23% of their full frame cameras compared to last year. But call me when you lead month after month after month. Let's see if they still have a lead once Nikon decides to release the replacements to the D810 and the D750. I've seen a lot of sharing and posting by Sony fanboys how this is somehow vindication for their choice of selling their Nikon and Canon gear to go all in on Sony. Again, please do more than just read the headlines. Sony is also noting that sales of its full frame cameras has helped the US full frame market see an overall growth of 5%. Are you a Sony fanboy? Please let everyone know in the comments below. Speaking of Sony, if they're still not on top next month, maybe this is the reason. Canon Rumors is reporting that a solid source that is highly trustworthy says a truck carrying all of Sony's gear for NAB has been stolen. This truck apparently contains all of the equipment that was meant to appear at the NAB show in Las Vegas next week. The truck allegedly also contains some equipment from other manufacturers, which would be used alongside Sony's gear at the show. Sony Alpha Rumors backs up the story as well, noting that they've received a message from a supplier that had equipment on the truck, saying, I can confirm the truck was indeed stolen. I'm from a partner company that's helping scramble in getting replacement supplies. This isn't the first time Sony had a truck stolen either. They had a couple of trucks stolen from a shipping facility in Ontario, Canada, sorry, back in 2010. There's been no official announcement from Sony just yet, so let's see if they can fill their booth with gear in time for NAB. Now, a little birdie told me that Nikon and Canon have offered to fill Sony's booth with their cameras. Not! So nice! <laughs> High five! And there you have it, that's your photo news fix. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can notify you when new photo news fixes go live. And we'll see you next time. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.